Oceans cover more than 70% of the Earth's surface. Much of the ocean lies beyond the reach of sunlight, which can only penetrate about 100 meters deep. That means most of our planet exists in total darkness, hidden beneath an endless veil of water. The water in our oceans makes up about 96% of all water on Earth. Fresh water is so scarce that if it were spread across the ocean, it would only form a layer 1.25 meters thick. Around 94% of all life on Earth lives in water, making us land dwellers a small minority. So, what lies hidden in those unexplored depths? As we descend layer by layer, the ocean becomes increasingly mysterious. We know more about Mars's surface than our own sea floor, due to the extreme conditions below. Today, we dive deep to uncover the secrets beneath. We'll discover what the ocean floor looks like, what strange life exists there, and how these alien environments survive. Let's begin our descent, stopping at remarkable depths. At 40 meters, pearl divers reach their limit without scuba gear. This is also the maximum safe depth for most recreational divers, as pressure forces air from the lungs below this point. At 200 meters, 90% of all marine life resides. Sunlight barely reaches here, supporting the growth of phytoplankton, the base of the oceanic food chain. At 332 meters, we hit the deepest scuba dive ever recorded. Beyond this, the ocean becomes too dangerous to explore without specialized technology. At 1,000 meters, we enter complete darkness. Bioluminescent creatures produce light to survive, like siphonophores, colonial organisms with shared systems. At 1,027 meters, military submarines reach their maximum dive depth. This marks the beginning of the midnight zone, where most life drifts and survives on marine snow. At 2,200 meters, giant squid and sperm whales roam, often clashing in epic battles. Anglerfish use glowing lures powered by bacteria to attract prey. At 6,100 meters, deep-sea internet cables run along the ocean floor. For most of the ocean, this depth marks the general bottom. The Mariana Trench is one of the deepest and most mysterious parts of the ocean. It formed from subduction, where one tectonic plate slips beneath another. Stretching 2,540 kilometers and averaging 70 kilometers wide, the trench is enormous. Within it lies the Challenger Deep, the trench's deepest known point. Challenger Deep sits 340 kilometers from Guam and plunges beyond 10,000 meters. It's the deepest known part of the ocean, though measurements vary. Surprisingly, it's not the closest point to Earth's core. Due to Earth's equatorial bulge, parts of the Arctic Ocean floor are actually closer. Near the trench's top, at 414 meters, lies the Daikoku Volcano. It holds a surreal lake of molten sulfur, boiling at 187 degrees Celsius beneath the waves. At 1,600 meters, black smokers release mineral-rich water heated to 450 degrees Celsius. Some scientists think life may have started in places just like this. Many believed life couldn't exist at the trench's bottom until 1960. Jacques Picard and Don Walsh proved them wrong by diving to 10,918 meters in Trieste. In 1995, the Kaiko probe reached Challenger Deep and brought back microscopic foraminifera single-celled life forms with mineral skeletons. In 2011, drop cams revealed new life forms, including a giant foraminifera over 10 centimeters wide, huge for a single-celled organism. In 2014, a new expedition discovered unknown snailfish at 8,145 meters. These fish are the deepest dwelling known and have no natural predators. 
These discoveries prove the ocean floor isn't lifeless, but thriving in its own strange way. Our journey continues as we explore another mysterious abyss across the globe. The Puerto Rican Trench lies between the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean, right along a powerful geological fault line. It's the deepest point in the Atlantic Ocean. This mysterious spot was named after the USS Milwaukee, the U.S. Navy ship that first discovered it. The Kongsberg EM-124 multi-beam sonar finally measured the trench accurately in 2018. Later that same year, retired U.S. Navy officer turned explorer Victor Vescovo became the first person to dive to its bottom. Like many deep ocean places, the Puerto Rican Trench is highly active geologically. It's prone to seismic disturbances that have caused serious damage to nearby islands, especially Puerto Rico. Some scientists believe the trench could be the site of a future volcanic eruption. If that happens, it may unleash catastrophic consequences on surrounding coastal regions. Beneath the trench lies a bizarre geological mystery. NASA detected a super-dense formation under the seafloor that exerts extra gravitational pull, enough to slightly lower the ocean's surface above it. But it's not just the geology that amazes scientists. The trench's ecosystem is full of surprises. In 2012, a robotic sub captured images of swarms of amphipods, tiny crustaceans thriving in the dark. Some were retrieved for surface analysis, while others appeared in footage showing deep-sea invertebrates not known to survive in such extreme environments. One of these creatures was identified by Dr. Stace Beaulieu from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. It was a soft-bodied sea cucumber from the genus Peniagon, the Kermadec Trench, located in the Pacific Ocean. It rivals even the Mariana Trench in scale and mystery. This colossal trough lies east of the Kermadec Islands and links up with the Tonga Trench further north. It stretches over 1,200 kilometers and was first discovered by the British ship Penguin in 1889. While slightly shallower than the Mariana, it still plunges beyond 10,000 meters. The trench has revealed some of the ocean's strangest and most extreme forms of life. In 2012, scientists exploring the trench found gigantic amphipods of the species Alicella gigantea. These crustaceans stunned researchers by measuring up to 34 centimeters in length. That's over 15 times larger than most amphipods, which typically measure just a couple of centimeters. Their enormous size is believed to be an adaptation to extreme pressure and cold. Researchers also found a rare deep-sea fish from the Lipparidae family, specifically Notoliparis kermadescensis. This unique species lives within a very narrow depth range. It survives between roughly 6,500 and 7,500 meters, making it one of the deepest dwelling fish ever discovered. But even that wasn't the most unexpected find. The real shock came with the discovery of a pearl fish living at depths between 8,200 and 8,300 meters. These fish are normally found much closer to the surface. Typically, pearl fish live at depths between 1,800 to 2,000 meters. How they ended up thriving at such extreme depths is still a mystery waiting to be solved. Our exploration has only skimmed the surface of what lies in the world's deepest ocean trenches. As our technology advances, we continue to uncover secrets from beneath the waves. In 2020 alone, six manned missions descended into the Mariana Trench, proving how far we've come and how much more we've yet to discover.